Hello again, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions, and today what I'd like to cover is creating a Windows Forms project for COBOL, adding controls and setting the properties through the, uh, the properties boxes that you can select. So without too much ado, we'll go ahead and continue. So uh, we're going to create a project, and in this particular case, I'm going to click that again and the project we're going to create is a Windows application. It's a COBOL project, Windows application, in this case some of my uh, fifth iteration of playing around. And we're going to hit press OK. And you'll notice that when this comes up it's very similar, it's almost identical um, to the uh, Visual um, Studio environment for COBOL or C Sharp or in prior versions of Java because basically um, the designer is the same one. Um, the only difference is you see the form1.cob uh, that got generated for you in addition to that you have a main.cob. Your main.cob is what kind of uh, loads up and runs your form1.cob. But for the purposes of this particular tutorial um, we're mainly interested in um, adding some controls to this form and showing you how that's done and setting some properties. So I'm going to close this out so we have a little more space. I'm going to um, open up our form a little bit. I'm going to leave it named Form 1. You can change it to whatever you like. And I'm going to go ahead and select from my toolbox. I'm going to put a button on the form. And the button just got added. And in order to set a property for the button, there are multiple properties that are here. I'm going to set the text of this button to press me. I know it looks like shouting when everything's in uppercase and we're going to soften that in a future tutorial in the next tutorial coming out. And uh, the name of this button is button 1. You'll notice that it's lowercase. Uh, all of your uh, controls within the uh, COBOL.NET environment um, are case sensitive so just be aware of that as you're trying to bring them in and doing coding and that we'll cover in another tutorial most likely the next one and so we'll come along here I'll put a label on the screen you can see the label just that's a link label I don't want that a link label is for um, being able to set a URL or something like that so I'm going to delete that off the form easy as that and I'm going to come down here and select label put that on and then I want to select a text box and put that on. And when this is all said and done what's going to wind up happening is whatever we wind up typing in this text box is going to show up in this label. So when the user presses me the content of this will be pushed to the top up here and so right now we have our information on here I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, actually I'm going to leave label there I'm just going to put it this is label 1 and will be replaced by content of text box 1 if I could type And I'm going to fix label one because again I want you to remember the context sensitivity here not context sensitivity the sensitivity of the case as you're coding it's important and there is a way that can aid you within the settings which we'll also cover in the next tutorial um, and I'm going to press my end key and now we have a text box we have a button and we should be able to build this there is no code behind at this point. And run. And there you go. Nothing is happening because we don't have anything going on. Our next tutorial will add some code behind. But again, like I said, we'll take the content of this and move it into here. Um, let me slide this back down. I apologize for that. Let me do this one time over again. Um, our next tutorial, you'll be able to click on here and the content of this will be replaced up here. 
uh, within Cam Studio, which is my recording tool, um, you have to make sure that you pull things down. And again, I apologize for that last piece, and we will see you in the next tutorial.